What's up guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. Out here finishing up a good day out here on the lake, but I wanted to get to one of my longtime subscribers. Hit me up in the comments with a question and let's just go ahead and get this question answered for him real quick. So this is from Reno954678. Been a long time subscriber. Really appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit the like button on this and continue to supporting the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends because we're always looking to grow and help each other out on this channel. All right, so his question is, hey, I bought my boat with units linked. Units are currently not recognizing each other. Wiring seems good. Is there any troubleshooting you can recommend that I can do through the units themselves to have them join um, the network together. Thanks for any ideas you may have in advance. All right, guys, so basically what I'm gonna do is just run through all of the steps and show you what I do whenever I'm checking my network and something that I may do if I'm running into an issue where something is not connecting to the network. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I am starting off. I have everything on the boat turned off, so let's just start from the very beginning guys I walk you through everything that I do so in my um, compartment I have a perco switch that I always turn off whenever I leave the lake and so let's go ahead and turn this on all right you just heard my talons beep that lets me know that the power is going through and just another quick thing for you guys so this perco switch this turns it on and this one battery over here is what powers everything on my boat except for my trolling motor this is my starting battery and it is connected to this trolling motor battery through this perco switch so anytime i need extra power i will just turn the switch to here and it will combine the uh power between this battery and this one to prolong the 12 volt life of my um system while i'm out here on the water so i'll just keep it right here for now there are my other three batteries so that is one two three trolling motor batteries all right so now once i have turned on power to the boat next thing i do is hit this power button to go ahead and start powering up everything that would turn my five port hub on along with um any other thing that needs to be su supplied power to the boat then i go and start turning my units on so i'll turn this one on first this one is not connected to the network so i won't worry about connecting that one the reason that one is not on the network is because I have one five port hub, but I have six items that need to connect to the hub. So I disconnect that unit because I just use it for mapping right now. All right, let's go ahead and turn these other two units on and turn on the trolling motor. All right, there we go. And I also have hydro wave. We won't worry about that right now because that's not really a network item. All right. So. Now, once it gets to the screen, I will just hit the exit button. All right, so I want to go to the accessory test screen. And this right here will show me the, the each thing as they connect to show me that it is on the network. Let's take a look at the other screens. All right, so here we go on this one, accessory test. This one is connecting right now, just the GPS heading sensor. Right there is what's showing connected because that is directly connected to this unit and it is shared to this unit. Um, and I'll show you how I set that up in just a second. Then let's go to this one up here, go to the same accessory test screen and let's see what is being connected. All right, there we go. So we have the GPS connected. Mega 360 connected and in just a minute that Mega Live should pop up. All right, now let's check the network settings on each one of these units. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. So we will hit the menu button twice, go to network. Then you want to go to network source setup. From there, hit that right arrow key. And this will show you everything that is connected um, in the system. So as you see these start, start to come on, that lets you know that this unit is on the network. And what we want to confirm is that the 2D, DI, and SI, which are being read through this unit because this unit here is connected to the transducer on the trolling motor. So all we're doing is going through here, 2D is connected to the Helix 12. This is the Helix 12 up here. Each one of these should be connected to the Helix 12, G4N, G4N. Now the 360, that will have its own option. That one is connected directly to that G4N unit. 
Mega Live. All right, so the temperature is going to be read through this 12 inch unit up here up top. So we have that selected. And for that, I just selected it for all three. And the GPS is the external puck, like I said, is connected directly to this puck right here. And that is connected directly to this unit. So we have that set on the G3 end. This is the nine that I have right here. And pretty much we would just do the same thing on here. So let's go to menu twice, go over to network, down to network source setup, and pretty much the same thing here. So for 2D, all of these options are gonna be this unit right here, the 12 inch unit, because the transducer is connected directly to this unit, DI, SI the 360 all right there we go with the live and then the temperature is the same for all three the GPS is going to be right there the external and connected to that nine that is because I am networking it directly to this unit here the nine inch unit right below to this um, directional puck all right guys I hope that information is helping you out if you have any questions make sure you put that down in the comment section all right now let's go ahead and take a look back here all right back here at the console let's hit the menu button twice and we will go back over to network once again down to network source setup all right so all we're doing is going through each one of these settings and just verify that the correct option is checked this unit is still kind of coming up on the system. Once everything gets connected, then you will see this turn white, just like this area up here. But all we're doing for now, is just going through and verifying that the G3N, which is this unit right here, is checked for all of these options, except for the 360, which is up front. The Mega Live has its own uh, network connection. And then the temperature settings will be connected to this unit right here for all three of these. That's just the way that I set those uh, temp options on that. And the GPS, which is, there's an external puck on this side right here. But for now, I have it connected directly to this unit, which is not on the network. So what I do for now is just select the internal GPS on the Helix 10 at the console, which is this unit right here. The next thing that you can do is check your network hub, but if all of your connections are fine, you may just have to give the system a little bit of time to finish booting up, because as you can see, this right here has not completely finished uh, linking yet. But hope this information helps you guys out. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you get active down in the comment section. I really hope this has helped you out. I will see you guys on the next video.